All right, guys, so today I have a really cool trick to show you. And uh, so today I figured I'm going to just go ahead and cash out on the whole rice gum trending thing while he is still trending. And uh, basically, this is what the trick is going to look like. So um, if you guys do not know who rice gum is, he is a huge douchebag here on YouTube. And it would make a lot more sense to you guys if you don't know who this is to check out the link I'm going to put up on the description. You will get to know the backstory, and this trick will make a lot more sense to you. So here's what it is going to look like. Um, I've already done most of the hard work for you, so we're going to be using the Joker, and then we're going to be using Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and these are the cards that you guys would be able to choose from. So let's say you, let's say, you know, you went ahead and you took a few looks at the cards, and let's say you wanted to pick two random ones, it really doesn't matter. So we have the 5, and let's say the 8 over here. What I'll do Let's say, you know, you guys could have picked any card. I'm going to go ahead and put this, leave this on the bottom of the deck. Let's go ahead and we can lose those cards. They don't really matter at this point. But the whole thing here is that you actually pick the 5, the 8, and the Joker is going to be your card for later. So let's say we take the 8. And the way this trick works is we're going to get to the number 13. That is why I actually have 13 here. So uh, this is actually based off an older trick called Lucky 13. And Rice Gum Sucks perfectly matches 13 letters. So let's go ahead. Let's start an 8. On eight right now, that is going to be the S. So we now we get to U C K S S, and just like that, we're going to leave the eight with those cards, and now we are left with the five and the Joker. So we're at five now. So here we are at five. So we have to get to thirteen. We start from six. We have U M S U C K S S, and we go ahead. We leave your card with those cards as well. And now the way the Joker works is um, you can pick any number, 1 through 10, with the Joker, so kind of the same amount of choices as you had before, but this time you have the choice to make it up yourself. So let's go ahead and make this simple. Let's say we make this uh, a 7. So here we have the Joker. We have a 7, so we're going to go to 8. So now we have S, U, C, K, S, S, and just like that, we're going to leave your Joker in the middle of the deck. So now the whole point of this trick here is to actually find a couple cards here. So we go ahead, I'll go ahead and show you where the cards happen to end up. We have the 8 here. I'm going to take this out. We have the 5 with the card in front of that and the Joker as well with the card in front of it. So here's how this part works. So uh, each of your selections happen to find a couple cards. And What's going to happen is uh, now the king, the value of the king is actually 13 so this actually makes sense. So each card should have found its own value of 13 just like that. Now obviously there are four kings in the deck, so here's how we're going to find them. Um, with your two selections that you chose and the, num and the one that you happen to make up here, it's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and add the values, so we have 5 and 8, which is going to be 13, plus I think you guys chose 7, so this is going to be 20 all added up. So here we go. All the choices plus the card you made up, we're going to get to 20. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Rice Gum Sucks, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, just like that. Your cards have chosen the four kings. So this is the trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is going to work. So like I said before, this is based off of an old trick called Lucky 13, and basically... Um, you can do this trick impromptu. Um, the only thing I did for the performance to make it easier was I just went ahead and did all the kind of impromptu stuff beforehand. So if you guys want to do this impromptu, basically all you have to do is as you are looking through the cards, you'd be looking through and you tell the spectators you're going to be looking for the values 1 through 10. And essentially the kings would be dispersed throughout the deck. And as you're looking through the cards, you have them towards you and you tell the spectator you're going to take out a couple cards and you're taking out basically ace through 10. But what I did in the performance was I went ahead and got out all the numbers before. So ace, three, and we're gonna go ahead and get to two. All right, so I wasn't about to make you guys just sit through all that, but basically let's go ahead. We say we take out the values ace through 10. So we have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we have these 10 cards. And now here is the setup that you can do. Um, here's what it's gonna look like. So you have the cards. You've already had these cards taken out from the deck. You take two kings, and these are going to go on top. You take two cards off the deck, grab a king. So the king is going to be in the fourth position from the bottom, and it's going to look like this. Two kings in the bottom, and then two kings on top, and that is the setup for right now. And then from here, you could have these ten cards on top of the deck now. 
with the Joker. You can go to the spectator and you can tell them that you're going to start off this trick by having them pick um, a few cards just from this just from this like selection. So we have we can deal out ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now what you can do is have you can just push these cards over to the spectator and then they can you tell them okay go ahead and look at these cards and then just pick two of them so you are nonchalantly ask them to pick any card and as they pick the cards it's going to be real believable if you just go ahead and shuffle up this deck a little bit and you don't really mention that you're shuffling it, uh, shuffling it up just because you know you're shuffling the deck up the spectator is obviously going to see that and they're not going to really think anything of it so the whole thing is here you're giving the illusion that this is a mixed up deck but what you can do is actually keep those two cards on the bottom so you deal down one two three four leave the cards down and then you make sure to leave two cards on top that's basically just keeping the order intact and then at this point the spectator is going to choose whatever cards they want so let's say they check or pick four and let's say nine so two random cards they're picking these and then what you're going to do is as they're giving the deck back to you um, or as they're even picking their cards you could have just grabbed a pinky break real quick with the bottom card and you tell the spectator you are going to put their cards down there in the bottom but really all you're doing is sliding the cards in this little pinky break just like that and they're going just above that top card and then you can do a false cut if you'd like and you can check the tutorial for that if you just want to let the spectators know the deck is getting mixed up so at this point you are going to have these cards you go ahead and you swoop in with the joker you pick them both up and you say look so you happen to pick the four the nine and the joker is going to be yours for later so as you're showing them these cards you're just getting a pinky break underneath the top card sliding all these on top then grabbing them grabbing that king on the bottom and then you say okay so now we're going to start with nine here and for here with the spectators what you're going to do is tell them that you're going to get to the number 13 because 13 is considered a lucky number in some cultures so here's what we're going to try to do we're going to try to get this lucky number 13 so let's say you start off with the nine here and then you count getting to 13 so you go 10 11 12 13 and you place all these cards the four cards back on top deal the nine down set everything back on top and then you do the exact same thing so you pick the cards up again you take these two cards off and now you're at five so you start four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen place the four on top and then you put all the cards on top again and then what you can do is do the exact same thing but with the joker you want to make sure that when they pick the value of the joker you want to make sure that they are actually going to remember that value. So let's say they wanted to pick a number, you want to tell them they're going to pick a number uh, 1 through 10. So let's say they pick 7. So here's a joker. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Place a joker here to put the cards on top. And then you're going to spread the deck again. And you're going to grab the two cards, the 9 in the card that's on top of it. Same thing with the 4. Same thing with the joker. Now at this point, you can ask the spectator. All right, so let's see if we actually got lucky. So at this point, you can flip over the first card. You say, look, so we have the king, which is actually represented as the value 13. Same thing should be with the nine and then the joker. So then you come here. The spectator is obviously wondering where is the fourth king. So you go ahead, you tell them. All right, so you happen to pick two random cards between one to ten, four and the nine. And then, then you really chose your own value with the joker. So you you know at this point, you want them to remember the value they chose. So you have uh, 7 here plus 13, which is going to be 20 again. So it could be any value, but let's say they picked 20 in this case. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the 20th card is going to be their card, the last and final king. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.